Welcome back Mechanical EI. Did you know that almost all modern hybrid electric drivetrain vehicles make use of Atkinson cycle to provide initial start and that the Brayton cycle is what powers the jet engines? This makes us wonder, what are Atkinson and Brayton cycles? Before we jump in, check out the previous part of this series to learn about what Stirling and Erection cycles are. Now, the Braden cycle consists of four processes. Process 1 is an isentropic process, wherein ambient air is drawn into the compressor and pressurized. In process 2, the compressed air then runs through a combustion chamber where fuel is burned, heating that air, which is an isobaric process since the chamber is open to flow in and out. Process 3 is an isentropic process, wherein the heated pressurized air then gives up its energy, expanding through a turbine or a series of turbines. The final process is an isobaric process wherein heat is rejected to the atmosphere. Next is the Atkinson cycle in which there are six processes. Process 1 is an isentropic compression, process 2 is isochoric heating, process 3 is isobaric heating, process 4 is isentropic expansion, process 5 is isochoric cooling and process 6 is isobaric cooling. Hence, we first saw what the Atkinson cycle is and then went on to see what the Brayton cycle is. So, like, subscribe, and comment with your feedback to help us make better videos. Thanks for watching. Also, thanks a lot for those constructive comments. You helped the channel grow. So, here are the top mechanical EIs of our last videos. In the next episode of Mechanical EI, find out what combustion is.